Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. I am starting the vlog because we decided we we're probably like 95% going to stay home today. If not, we'll just do something local. Um, I've been battling a migraine all day. I got up a little bit later to at least get the vlog done, but this headache has knocked me off my feet and I'm going to go and take a bath and maybe that'll help me feel better. Um, but anyways, Peter kind of had a, just like a crummier day at work and so we're like, you know what? We've been going, going, going. Let's just stay home um, and I'm gonna make tacos for dinner. So get ready for a home vlog. So I am cooking up dinner. I know we had said that we need to go grocery shopping. Um, however, I had just enough of the ingredients to just like make tacos of whatever veggies we had. So that's Brussels sprouts today. Plus, I'm gonna add in some chickpeas and then normal taco seasoning. Peter is gonna run to Walgreens for a couple of things and then we might go like actual grocery shopping later, but he's just stopping by Walgreens because there is something in particular that we have to get at Walgreens and then he's just gonna pick up like tortillas and maybe chips to just go along with like our very, like whatever was in the kitchen dinner that I'm making. Also, I don't know if you can still tell or not, that bath i took it with like lavender salt like lavender bath salt and my entire body broke out into hives it's actually not as bad now but something i wanted to be relaxing <laughs> turned out to not to be so not relaxing also if you're curious about this dish it's just brussels sprouts i used vegan butter to fry it up salt pepper and I think I just put in two packets of that Taco Bell hot sauce. Um, oh, and garlic. Just to get it started to have like that heat on its own, but then it's also going to be like cooked with other stuff too. So I just wanna try and get the Brussels sprouts crispy um, before throwing in the rest of the ingredients. This is something super simple that I've been making a lot lately. And that's just smashing up an avocado, putting salt, lime juice, and some sort of heat like hot sauce or cumin or chili powder. And then it's not really guacamole, but it's just like deliciously seasoned avocado. And then you just put it on top of anything you want. I forgot to show the Brussels sprouts on their own, but you can kind of tell like how dark I let them get. And now I'm just gonna add in the taco seasoning maybe a little vegetable broth, and that'll be our tacos. He's home. I'm hungry. We're making tacos. Um, this is how it looks after the seasoning. I probably couldn't have used, didn't have to use the whole bag since this isn't like a pound of meat like they say, but it's spicy. The night is quickly turning into a black pit known as office bloopers. <laughs> Okay. Big night. Big night that broke our project. We're announcing our first world tour right now. What? We're going. Where are we going? I don't know. Go Japan? To Disney World. I want to go to Japan so bad. If uh -oh. you've ever checked out this YouTube account, oh, uh, do have to. Oh, uh, that's what you were talking about? Yeah. They were talking about having Pepsi's. Oh, uh, we have to go bring Eve outside. I showed her my shoes. Really like, quick, tell them about Hannah. Oh, so there's a YouTube channel that I forgot how I found her YouTube channel. I want to say it was from Tokyo Disney, but I actually don't know. But her name's currently, her YouTube channel is currently Hannah. I think she lives in Tokyo or lives in Japan. And she has like beautiful scenery, tourism of Japan and other Asian countries. Check her out because it really fuels that fire that makes me want to go travel in the world. So this IVF, this embryo transfer money has got a stick. So then in like... 13 months we can go travel nice. with a little wow. nugget you can see the reflection here this is my my youtuber ring light look at my eyes see i'm a real youtuber now we're taking a break from watching tv and relaxing to talk about how eve's gonna run for political office 
in 2020. <laughs> We're gonna watch some movies, and I think um, what was his name? Joe. Wait, the guy that my mom told us to watch. Yeah. Let me find it. Really Something quick. with a B. I think it's Italian. He's from like the 70s. I know. I think I've listened to him before. I just didn't realize it. Leo. Oh, Bruce Leo Buscali. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And your mom's got a bunch of his books. Yeah. We're gonna watch a video by him later. Mm-hmm. But first, we have to watch the State of the Union because it's the that time of the of the year, not the year, but like no, that time it's just of that the time in America, that. in the political world of America, mm-hmm. where State of the Union's happening tonight, mm-hmm. a big election right. year. And we were just talking like when we were in college, that was like the last. I had already graduated, but we were still like in that like student state of mind the last election, and so we're excited to like that's presidential, not midterm. Yes, we're excited to take this more so on as like adults mm-hmm. and like. Clearly, we're very patriotic. <laughs> Do you see the American flag behind us? Um, but we weren't in that. We weren't. We were busy doing other things to get like involved in the what potential campaigns we want to support and right. potentially volunteer at. And so, like, we're just excited to like start to really research the candidates. And like, my goal this year is to research like the more of the people that I don't necessarily know on the ballot mm-hmm. because like I those like the. She just needs to be held. Yeah. Um, just that the small part, like the smaller parts of the elections also make a big difference. They and, almost make more of a difference. Right, yeah, for sure. And so we're just excited because like our daily vlog captures our daily life and it certainly is going to be an important part, an important part of this year. Um, and so right now I really like Elizabeth Warren. I know you're still kind of like... I and mean, we've got friends who like like everybody, so like right, I'm, yeah. I'm so, waiting for the field to go down a little bit. Yeah, but that's good about I just, this. I just want to like run myself, not for president, <laughs> <laughs> but like I like I want to know that we're gonna be like if I knew with 100 percent certainty we'd be in Winter Park for the next like five years, six, seven, mm-hmm. eight years. I think it would just be fun to revolt to run for alderman or some public office right. and do my community good yeah and we will not be voting for donald trump this year and so or whoever gets the nomination really it's, i don't think it's guaranteed that he gets it i know but it's, but it's most likely that he will um so we're just like committed now to like really do our part in you know researching, researching and, and backing learning. you know a candidate that we truly feel can represent our country best and so we're excited there she is. There they go. There they is. There they go. Oh, oh, I got bad cabin fever, and then I turn into Eve, like when she does that little head shake. Like I, I really enjoy these nights home, relaxing. I just got a little cabin feverish, you know. Oh, get, 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 get. You gotta find something good to watch. Then. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how many, if any of you, watched the State of the Union, but props to the 100-year-old pilot they had. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. And was there with this great, great, or was a great, I think it was one great, it was great-grandson. Yeah. Who was 13, I think was he 13? Or yeah, he was in 13. eighth grade. Yeah, he was in eighth grade in an aviation school, and his great-grandpa just turned 100 and was looking real sharp for he 100. Real good. He was spry. He stood up like four times. <laughs> um, so that was cool. Yeah. Evers is kind of being naughty, but I did want to say she is doing better. We yes, really UTI, give it. yeah, is, yeah. Is, is clearing up. She's still going to the bathroom in the house, but she's not going as often. Like, well, I don't think, have you ever like acknowledged the fact that from living growing up in like her growing up, uh, well, us growing up, but <laughs> her being a puppy in Chicago, we did have her pet trained. Yeah. when we were in Chicago. So we like talked that, about that a little bit with the UTI. So yeah, like that has been that has come as an advantage during the UTI because right. she still goes to the pad. Yes. Um, but she has maybe like four days left of medication, and then we go back and like. Did you give her today? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. But she's much more herself now. Yeah. Which makes me happy. Yes. Ready for Buscali? Yeah, my mom is super excited for us to watch it because like. It's so funny, like her and my dad, like my dad found this guy and him and her would watch it and be inspired. And I feel like that's like our like Current, inspirational yeah. Gary V like <laughs> time situation. Uh-huh. Um, so we'll put a link below to the one that we watched tonight. Which Do you is, hear me listen to Will Smith in the morning? I listen to Will yeah. Smith a lot in the morning. Uh-huh. That's like me, like mine is like a meditation playlist. It's a little bit less intense. Yeah, I get, same, I, get, I, get I watch videos to 
a firmly yell at me in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Sarah's just like a Zen yoga instructor. Mm-hmm. And mine is Will Smith telling me to go rock the day. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is going to be a good like hour. First of all, I did not know it was an hour and 25 minutes. So it's going to be a later night for us, but it'll be worth it. But look at the first, this YouTube video is like, it's just like classic, like good old fashioned 90s pirating. Look at the beginning of this YouTube video. Oh, oh, we're just missing the tracking bar on the bottom there for your VHS. Grandma, that's out of sight. Will you please come after you see your speech? So you're doing yoga on the couch. <laughs> While watching Leo Biscali. She didn't succeed. I was embarrassed. He's a hoot. But he is a hoot. Retrospect, He's an old Italian I guy. That's why my mom likes him so much. <laughs> those are the way, and those are the Look at all the hand gestures. <laughs> Look at you. You use all the hand gestures. <laughs> so today is actually my sister Jenna's birthday. And then our little niece. Berkeley's birthday is today. She was born last year, so I didn't put that on there. And there it is. And yesterday was Peter's pop-up and grandma's anniversary. Okay. February 4th. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Lao Tzu. So happy birthday, Jenna. And happy birthday, Berkeley. Put in the comments below a little birthday wish to those two very important girlies. The sleepiest pup. The sleepiest. I was just joking. Oh, you're I, all blurry. You must have been telling a lie. No, it was a joke because I wasn't sleeping. It's a joking lie. I posted up about me and Grant fundraising for American Cancer Society. Check out that link below. Chicago 2020. Two to three weeks before Sorry, our due date. I can't go. Yeah. So, with this... Tomorrow's so a big you day. you guys got to go to Chicago and cheer Peter on yes. because I can't be there. Because you'll be two weeks out from giving birth to our baby because <laughs> tomorrow we start shots for Monday's transfer. Yeah! She's so exhausted. She is. Why should I lift her up? She looks like a precious moment. Tomorrow's starting doing the shots. Yeah. And Peter's picking him back up as running, and it's gonna be fun. We, there's so much to look forward to. <laughs> All the shots she's gonna take. Not in my neck. In your eyeball. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>